Now once he was in a certain place praying, and when he had finished, one of his disciples said, Lord, teach us to pray, just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, Say this when you pray, Father, may your name be held holy, your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins. For we ourselves forgive each one who is in debt to us, and do not put us to the test. He also said to them, Suppose one of you has a friend, and goes to him in the middle of the night to say, My friend, lend me three loaves, because a friend of mine on his travels has just arrived at my house, and I have nothing to offer him. And the man answers from inside the house, Do not bother me, the door is bolted now, and my children and I are in bed. I cannot get up to give it to you. I tell you, if the man does not get up and give it him for friendship's sake, persistence will be enough to make him get up and give his friend all he wants. So I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Search and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For the one who asks always receives. The one who searches always finds. The one who knocks will have the door open to him. What father among you would hand his son a stone when he asked for bread? Or hand him a snake instead of a fish? Or hand him a scorpion if he asked for an egg? If you then, who are evil, know how to give your children what is good, how much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? I find this piece of scripture really interesting because it contains the words of the Our Father which we pray so often. The thing that challenges me in it is the sentence, Give us this day our daily bread. In our consumerist society today, we don't think just of daily bread, we think of all sorts of things. Yet Jesus is saying to us, all we need is what is necessary, the daily bread. Now I'm not saying we should only eat bread all day, that's very literal. What I'm trying to um, grasp for myself is, what demands do I make on society and on others and on myself to give me more than my daily bread to give me things or opportunities that I don't need to live I just want because they look exciting or they taste good or it gives me status or prestige so that's a challenge to me and I think Jesus was probably inviting the apostles to be humble and live with what they needed rather than what they wanted. We've just recently had Refugee Week and when I look at how the refugees arrive in our country and what little they have and how grateful they are for what they get, it sometimes makes me feel ashamed of what I have. The other section in that scripture which challenges me is the one about knocking on the door and trying to get your friend to give you food and he says, no, I'm not going to get up and do it because it's the middle of the night. It's something about sometimes the requests come to us at times which are inconvenient. But that's when the people need what they're asking for. And it may not be requests for a loaf of bread, it might be a request for a listening ear. Christianity is a very incarnational religion. We live within our bodies. So when Jesus says, ask and you shall receive, he doesn't just mean we should pray to God and not ask in the Christian community. He is inviting us to ask in the Christian community. 
because it is through the Christian community that our needs will be met. So there's two things there. There's us asking, but there's also us meeting the needs of those who ask. Sometimes it's not easy to do that because I might be feeling a bit tired or things might not be going well in my life. But sometimes when I've felt like that and someone's asked me for something and I've made the effort, that evening when I reflect on the day, I realise how lucky I am and that what I thought was maybe not going so well is indeed a trifling thing compared with what other people have. So maybe that's something we could think about. Let's pray, let's ask for our needs to be met, but also let's be part of the chain of people who help to meet the needs of others, who help to be the listening ear, the friendly neighbour, the kind person down the street, the person at church who smiles at the mother with the child, or who helps the father when he's trying to manage three children all at once and doesn't condemn them because they've got screaming children, maybe in the supermarket. So let's have a think about that this week. What can I do? What can you do? to be part of that chain of help.